What's up, boys? It's Nick from Team Table 501 here. I am the king of the scrubs, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. I'm going to be bringing you all of my matches from the Crush Card Cup 2020 tournament that SEMO hosted over the course of this quarantine. So first of all, shout out to SEMO, shout out to all the sponsors. It was a fantastic tournament, loved playing it, would gladly do it again in a heartbeat. Hopefully more of these happen in the future. <clears throat> And yeah, second of all, it's just gonna like these videos are gonna be more of me trying to improve myself since literally we're we're stuck indoors. I have nothing better to do, so I'm gonna be going over all of my matches, just showing you my hand, my thought process, what I'm thinking, and you know why I did the plays that I did. So this first match is gonna be a Salaman Great Mirror match. I'm just gonna spoil it right now. I get my ass handed to me, and it's not even close. But the ending is very sad, so I'm gonna talk about that. So. I lose RPS and I have to go second, which is quite unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes sometimes in the mirror. My opener is quite bad, as you can see. It is double will, uh, flame buffer low, Nibiru, and infinite impermanence. Not very good. I, I have no ability to see more of my deck. The best I can end on us, like, if I were going first, the best I can do is Sunlight Wolf impermanence and get Nibiru. That's. It, I, it's just not good. And my opponent summons Buffalo, so I already know it's the mirror, and my hand's garbage in the mirror. So I'm like, god damn it. Now they summon Banlinx, they discard Spinny, they draw two cards, now they activate Desires, and at this point I thought about just conceding, but it was like, let's see how far my opponent gets, because the only way that I'm realistically going to win this game is if I'm able to convert this Nibiru and then top deck like the best possible card. And, and uh, at that point it would probably be Salamangrate Circle, Cyanet Mining, or even like a Jack Jaguar, as that would give me enough resources to function. So, my opponent summons Spinny out of the graveyard, makes a Sunlight Wolf... And then they activate Sanctuary to make a new wolf. They set three. They try to go to their end phase, I Nibiru, and they chain Circle. Now, for those of you who don't know, Circle actually has a second ability where a Salaman Great Link monster that was summoned using its own name is unaffected by monster effects this turn. So it means that I can't tribute it with the Nibiru because the Nibiru resolving is a card effect. So they just get to keep their Link monster. They get a free token. They can do whatever they want with it. And now, because they're in their main phase still, Wolf gets to pick back the circle. So now I know they can protect it again. I draw DD Crow, and I'm just like, yep, there's nothing I can do. We're done here. That's game one. So it was quite sad, but, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, now this time for game two, I get to go first. Hopefully my opener is a bit better. And as you can see, my opener is quite a bit better. I have a starter card. I have an extender. I have two defensive cards and a hand trap. So I guess three defensive cards. But the hand trap is kind of versatile. So I decided to summon Foxy. And what do you know? There's the gazelle off the top of my deck. Put the cards back. And now a standard salad plays. Bailinks. Gazelle. Chain block so that I'm able to get the... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, get the gazelle here, and because my hand is already set up so well, I send Jack Jaguar. This gives me the ability to plus one off of my Sunlight Wolf. So there's the Sunlight Wolf, and it says I quit. This is the reason I hate this match so much, is because what happened was, in the other room, my mom's cat knocked over our internet router, which disconnected us from the internet for like an hour and a half, which is quite unfortunate, because right in the middle of this... Because as you can see, I'm very well set up here, even through a potential Nibiru. So I'm going to show my opponent's hand here real quick. They did open. They opened really well too. They opened Desires, Nibiru, Circle, Cyclone, Roar. So even if they Nibiru, it doesn't matter when they Nibiru me. I'm just going to hold the will because even if I were to do what my opponent did last game, which is activate Sanctuary, make Sunlight Wolf set two pass, they can Nibiru me there, and then I can just continue to go off because I held my resources and I have an Ash. So, I'd probably ash their desires. They'd circle for a gazelle. Uh, I can't see what they drew. But yeah, I, I think I'm very well ahead in this game. I think I could have forced a game three, depending on how the next couple of turns played out. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. It's just out of your control, and you just have to move on with it. So, not a great start to the tournament, but hopefully we can turn this around, get ourselves that top 16. And uh, that's going to do it for round one. Thank you guys for sticking me with you this one. Again, I apologize at how anticlimactic it is, but that's just the way you get with sometimes. So uh, I'll be right back with round number two.